out here because Mojave National Preserve and other areas in the Mojave like Joshua Tree National Park and even parts of Death Valley National Park are experiencing a once in a generation Joshua Tree bloom. As you can see right here we have a beautiful example of a Joshua Tree bloom. So in the area that the area that we're currently in is the largest Joshua Tree forest on planet Earth. Joshua trees are only found in the Mojave and here in Mojave National Preserve at the top of Sima Dome is the largest and densest forest of all. We've come here because of the really remarkable blooms that we're experiencing. We're seeing literally every single Joshua tree and as you kind of look around you'll see there's there's millions of Joshua trees and there's the vast majority of them are blooming right now. That nobody can predict exactly what makes a you know a remarkable Joshua tree bloom happen. What we do know is that it has it has to do with the amount of rainfall that we get in late summer and in, in and in winter. It also has to do with the amount of cold weather we get. Um, this year we got a really really large late season rain in the end of summer. We also got a number of rains and snows up here in this high elevation at 5,500 feet in the winter. And so we think that those are factors that have contributed to this remarkable bloom. I'll also say that in the years that I've been in the Mojave, I've never seen anything quite like this. And I think what we're looking at is, is something that we may not see again for a very long time.